I am the owner. I am Marie Solange Ladenius. I live in Lugano, Switzerland. I was born in Rome, where I lived until the age of 12. My family moved to Gandria, a small village on Lake Lugano. Gandria dates from the 14th century. The palazzo I lived in with my parents was built in the 15th century. We would often visit the neighboring little towns like Ascona, on Lago Maggiore, and Como, which was only half an hour away. Today Como is most famous for its silk industry and for the beautiful villas that surround Lake Como. My career as a fashion illustrator started in New York City, at Barney's. I love this city. It has opened many doors for me. I first met Susan von der Linde when she was a young model in Italy. She now owns a fabulous hat shop. She is so talented and her hats are like sculptures. Mariana Antinori is originally from Tuscany brought up in Argentina. She now has a shop on Madison Avenue. She sells the work of fantastically talented Italian designers whom she carefully and passionately selects. The Hamptons are a great escape from the city. Beautiful light and beaches, it is no wonder the Hamptons have always been a retreat for writers and artists. Over the years, I've spent many hours wandering the streets of Paris. The remarkable architecture makes my heart beat faster. It is no wonder that Ralph Lauren recently purchased a magnificent Hotel Particulier on the Boulevard Saint-Germain for his most elegant store with a lovely restaurant in the courtyard. Wherever I go, I love to discover new bookstores. Unlike other cities here in Paris, they are still thriving. I found a wonderful bookbinder in the Rue du Bac. They still use turn-of-the-century machines to sew the book bindings. The fragrance of the leather and marbleized paper is fantastic. I have many happy memories of the south of France, where I spent my summers as a child. My parents met and married here. The elegant Villa Frussi de Rothschild in Cap Ferrat, built by the Baroness Beatrice Frussi de Rothschild, houses an amazing collection of 18th century art. The village of Erz dates of the Middle Ages. It has stunning views of the sea and the surrounding mountains. I lived seven years in London. During that time, I was designing my own line of chokers for Browns and Liberty. My friend Laurence Cost owns a jewelry store here. I love to go visit her and check out her latest work. Yeah, 
Seattle in the Pacific Northwest is very beautiful, a great place to explore with its markets and sea waterfront. Leonardo di Venezia. Di Venezia? Sì, veneziano. The islands on the west coast of Florida, warm and tropical, have some of the most beautiful beaches and magnificent old mansions. And I love to talk to people who have passion, and obviously you have a lot of passion. Montana, big sky country, a wild, unspoiled place of great beauty with fantastic skiing. In Oslo, I visited the Tor Heyerdahl Museum. Tor Heyerdahl is an example of someone with great passion for adventure and travel. The Viking ships dating 900 AD have such elegant lines. While in Oslo, I had the honor to attend the Nobel Peace Prize. Malala and Kailash received the prize. How humbling and inspiring. Both have devoted their lives for their passions, education and ending child slavery. Bermuda is a beautiful island, very British. Discovered by Juan de Bermudez in 1505, there is much to explore, from the pink sand beaches to the many National Trust houses. In the old town of St. George, I came upon a studio where Emma Ingham, a fellow fashion illustrator, now works on landscapes, inspired by the beauty of the island. I was fortunate to have the opportunity to interview Choi Aiming, one of the Bermuda Ocean Vet team. Choi had a passion for the sea since he was a young boy and has now realized his dream, becoming a marine biologist. My program is made to inspire, to follow your dreams and to realize that with passion there are no limits. As Thor Heyerdahl put it so well, borders? I have never seen one, but I hear they exist in the minds of some people.